Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and I believe this is episode 72, or around there, probably. Uh, well, I'm just basically bored. <laughs> I'm waiting for the movie trailer to come out, and I was just scouring through YouTube and found a couple videos of people uh, that they uploaded that were filming in San Francisco. And this video I found uh, by Justin Pruitt, uh, he posted on the 19th of January. And I'm actually surprised I missed this one. I don't know what tags he used, um, but I, I, this didn't pop up on my radar. And I'm, I'm glad it popped up. I was actually clicked on one of my videos to reply to a comment that someone else made. And I saw it in the recommended uh, section. So I was like, hey, cool, what's this? And clicked on it. And actually, Justin has an interesting story here, too. Uh, so Justin posted, before I start the video, um, he said, uh, you know, this is behind the scenes of the new Venom film. It's being shot literally right outside my bedroom uh, door and window at midnight. And he goes, it was, uh, it's not so much fun when you're trying to get some sleep to get up for work at 5.50 a.m. Sony Pictures could have done a much better job informing the residents of this late night filming. So on that, I will definitely sympathize uh, for sure. Like I've been, you know, worked on film sets where we've shot in locations really late at night and in residential areas especially with car chase sequences and stuff and it's you feel bad like a lot of the crew members they just feel bad they they it's nobody wants that we know every you know everyone knows that people have you know jobs and they have to get to them they know people have to get up that early most of the crew probably got up that early that day and it's like almost 24 hours later and they're still working uh some of them i know there's like laws against that uh you know for the most part but sometimes you know, you have really long days on these on these movie shoots. So, uh, you know, I sympathize with Justin on that one. You know, I can imagine a bunch of cars driving by outside, and we're going to start the footage here while I tell the rest of this story, so you can see what he shot. Um, but yeah, it's uh, he's got a great view of this. I mean, this is clearly some kind of chase sequence. You can he's looking down. You can see the crew right there putting uh, the camera on the um, uh, on the. Uh, I guess I don't know. They're not using a. It's not a jib, obviously, because jib's super big, but they have a, a a track or something on there. But they're basically they're mounting the camera uh, so that they can get the shots they need and the angle they need it at. So this could be second unit. Um, it, it might not be Ruben Fleischer and everyone. Although I think we see uh, Tom Hardy go by on a motorcycle at some point, but I don't even know if it's Tom. It could be uh, Jacob, his stunt double, for all I know, because we're far enough back to where we we don't really see who it is. Um, but yeah, it looks like all these cars are lined up, getting ready for. A shot of them driving by or just getting a shot of the motorcycle driving by sometimes you see that in movies where the the motorcycles going by and dipping in between cars and they have the camera following it and it's like it's like zooming in and out and it's like zoom, zoom, and they amplify the sound to make it you know more exciting uh, so it could be something as simple as a shot like that but it's clearly during one of the chase sequences of the movie and uh, you know uh, the other thing that Jacob mentioned in his comment here is that uh, he when he was trying to go out leave his apartment at 930 to move his car uh, he had trouble with that the crew was kind of like no we can't let you walk through here and you know, he was just trying to leave his apartment to move his car because if, for those who don't live in like, you know, big cities and stuff, uh, street parking sucks. You know, you might have to move your car at like 2 a.m. Uh, and there's like no parking between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. And then you have to go spend like an hour driving to an, like another neighborhood like six blocks away just to park your car. I mean, I've been there a thousand times and I'm sure Justin has too. So I, I feel bad uh, that this guy had to go through this. And then here you see the cars like accelerating and moving through and uh, they're trying to get this chase sequence shot. And yeah, I'm thinking this is a second unit because I don't think you would need Ruben Fleischer for something like this. They're just getting pickup shots of cars moving by. Um, but uh, yeah, see all the cars are going in reverse now, going back to their original positions. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing there. We're gonna stop it at two minutes and six seconds. Uh, it's a full three minute video though. You can check it out on Justin's page. I'll put a link to the video directly down below. Uh, but Justin, I feel you, man. Uh, as someone who's worked on film crews, I totally get you know what what's happening to you, and I'm sure a lot of the crew members felt really, really bad about what you know what your situation was. Um, and but at the end of the day, they you know some of them just have they have a job to do, and they they're just like, hey, look, the sooner we just get our stuff done, the sooner you and everyone in your neighborhood's life can go back to normal. Uh, but the fact that they wouldn't let you go move your car and you had trouble doing that, it's a little bit of a pain. So I I, I feel you on that one. Uh, but you know, hopefully you don't don't hate the whole crew. I'm sure there are people there that felt bad uh, that they you know couldn't accommodate uh, in, in you know, for what you needed. Uh, but anyway, go out there, uh, cheer Justin up. Maybe subscribe to his channel. He has one subscriber, so I'm gonna click right now and become his second subscriber. Uh, but uh, I, I'm also the eighth thumb up, the eighth thumb up. 
uh, on his video. So if you guys want to go give him a thumbs up on this video, please do and send him the Ven uh, tell him the Venom Vlog sent you and uh, that I love his content. Thank you for posting this video, Justin. I really appreciate it. Those of you out there, got a little bit more footage, more movie stuff. I know you guys like that stuff, so I'm glad I was able to find some of this and bring it to you. And I'm glad Justin uploaded this to his channel so that I could find it. So let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. And Justin, again, man, sorry you had to go through that, but luckily it was only one night and hopefully you got to work the next day and, uh, and everything was all right. So thank you all out there for everything. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.